So it's time to take the final step and set up an account at Heroku. So you can go ahead and open up a new tab and go ahead and create an account at Heroku.com if you don't have one. You can set up an account for free. And again, this is going to be our account where we have a server where we can deploy our code. And Heroku makes it really easy to do that. And again, when I say deploy code, I'm just saying we're going to move it behind the scenes from here in Nitrous. We're going to move this code all the way over to Heroku's uh, server, just like we did with GitHub. We were able to move the code here and have a copy stored here on GitHub. We're going to do a similar thing by sending it over to Heroku. And by doing that, we're going to have a live production version of our application ready to go. So I'm just going to click this sign up button here at the top right to get started. And you'll want to use the same email address you have access to. And you may have seen some other fields in your sign up form, but that's okay. Just make sure that you're signing up for the free account. So once you do that, you should be taken to this screen where you are now asked to confirm your email address. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to log into my email account and click on the confirmation link. So I've just clicked on the confirmation link and now it's asking me to create a password. So I'm going to do that now. So what I can do is just click on this link here to get logged into my Heroku dashboard. So one thing I want to point out is that make sure you also clicked on the confirmation link in your email inbox for GitHub. Okay, otherwise you're going to continue to see a warning up here uh, whenever you're at your GitHub account. So you should have received a, a link in there as well. I'm going to click this verifying button here uh, on GitHub just to make sure and verify my email, ad email address. So they just sent uh, another email verification for me and I can go back to my inbox and verify it by clicking on the link that they give me. So now that all of that's done, I've got my Heroku dashboard here. What I'm gonna do is go back over to Nitrous and I'm going to make sure that I'm in my workspace and then my simple CodeCast SAS folder here is we're going to write a few special commands here. We're going to write, first we're going to write Heroku login. And notice the spelling there for Heroku. Then I'm going to hit enter. And what it's, this is going to do is it's going to prompt me to log in with the same Heroku credentials that we just set up our account with. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to type my password here. And keep in mind, the typing will be hidden. That means this cursor won't move or change, but it is accepting all the letters that you type if you type properly. So I'm going to type it in. And I'm going to hit Enter. And as long as you got authentication successful, you should be all good. Now, if for some reason the Heroku login command didn't work for you, or just even writing Heroku doesn't work for you, what you can do is go up here to Auto Parts and then click Manage Packages. And then from here, you should be able to filter for a Heroku package. And you'll want that Heroku tool belt installed. So you'll just want to make sure that's installed. And again, if you're having any trouble with this and it's you're still not able to get through to this step, you can always just search for Nitrous and then Heroku on Google and read some of the documentation that they have. And finally, if you're still having trouble, just feel free to contact their support team by clicking the contact support button and you should be good to go. So now that I've logged into Heroku here in Nitrous, going back to this screen, what I want to do now is type Heroku and then keys colon add. And what this is going to do, it's similar to how we authenticated GitHub with Nitrous. We're now saying, okay, let's establish communication between Nitrous and this Heroku platform here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's asking me to confirm. It's saying, do we want to use that same public key that we have stored here? And I'm going to say yes. And hit enter. So now that that's done, it should confirm and say, okay, we've uploaded your SSH public key. 
And what I'm going to do is write another command here called Heroku and then create. And this is going to create the server for me at Heroku. And you'll notice as well, it should say Git Remote Heroku added if you did everything correctly. And so I want you to look at this very carefully. What we've done is we've created a URL here and go ahead and copy that URL and save it somewhere. Uh, wherever you want and what you're gonna do is that's the URL for your application your production version of the application that means the actual live application of what we're building so far if you go to that there shouldn't be anything there right now because we haven't written any code yet but you've got this placeholder home page this is the web address for your production grade application and what we're gonna do is one last step here we're gonna write git push heroku master so similar to git push origin master but instead we're going to say heroku and anytime we write this command it's going to grab the latest copy from git uh, of our code in, in this master branch essentially and send it over to this web address this server here at this web address so i'm going to go ahead and hit enter and you can see that it's shipping it off now and this will take a second but it's shipping off everything that we need uh, to go over here to Heroku and have our code show up at this web address here. So once, you're, once you've done all that, you'll see that the web application is displaying on this web address. Once the deploy is complete, you should see that you're back at the prompt here and you should have some confirmation messages up there. You don't need to understand all of that right now, but now that it's complete, we're just going to take one last step here and we're going to go over here to this readme doc in our actual Rails application directory here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this readme doc and we're just going to change this. We're going to say, well, we'll just wipe this out for now. Coder manual project application, and then we'll say subscription based web application, and then below that we'll just write http slash slash coder manual dot com. So we're going to save that and then we're going to do this git workflow one more time. We're going to say down here in the command center type git status and you should see now that this file has been changed. What we're going to do is type git add and then dot. Okay, so now if we type git status again, we've just added any changes, which is that one file. And then I'm going to hit git commit dash m. And we're just going to say update read me right there in quotation marks so now when I hit enter that change has been made and so now watch this what we're gonna do is send this code off to github and then as well as Heroku so we're gonna do git push origin master this is gonna send a copy of our code and back it up to github so now that that's done we're just gonna type git push Heroku master and hit enter and so right there, that workflow that we just did is the workflow that we're going to take on regularly as we make changes to this application. We'll change a file, and then we'll save it to Git, and then we'll submit it to GitHub, and then when we're ready to ch send those changes to the public for the world to see at this web address here, we'll do that Git push Heroku master. And just one last thing here to close on this setup. This is a, you know, this is a unique kind of auto-generated name from Heroku. And you can kind of check out your dashboard here. Go to uh, personal apps here on the left from Heroku when you're logged in. And, you know, look at your server and some of the details about it. We don't need to worry about any of this right now. But what I do want you to know is that's an auto-generated name that they gave you. 
And we may look at this down the line, but in the meantime, if you want to customize that, you can type custom domain Heroku uh, in Google and look at their help center to see about how you can actually create uh, a custom domain so that you have, you know, your own business name as your .com or what have you. And you can read their documentation. It's pretty helpful, uh, but we may cover this down the line as well. So just keep that in mind. In the meantime, if you're curious, you can check this out. Okay, so at this point, we have successfully uh, integrated Git into our Nitrous application. We've also added Heroku integration, so we can now back up our code to GitHub, and we can deploy our code to the public. So now we're ready to start coding our application.